Previously on Frog Fractions, I got arrested for doing fractions and also stealing delicious base fruit. Oh no! Welcome back to Frog Fractions. I played amphibious, Your Honor. Hard labor! He's going to make me a temp. But I could become a naturalized citizen of Buzz Bug Mars. Hmm. I'd never seen a buggy or Mars. I love it here. There's so many bugs for me to eat. It's time to take a naturalization test. Just like in the United States, we answer random questions that make no sense. I think the colors mean bugs. All different kinds of bugs. Ooh, I like this answer better. I'm going with this answer. You goddamn commie space bugs. Take that. You're not gonna pull the wool over these froggy eyes. I don't even see Bug Jersey Shore. I never had TV here. I'm going to guess it's the odd man out. He enjoys bug-flavored ice cream. Alright! More fractions for me! The Declaration of Bugs. Everyone's blessed with the right to bugs! The only right you'll ever need. Oh, please stop asking me history. I'm bad at it. But luckily, I know this event. He didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce. Trick question! You're not gonna fool me, Judge Moth. Okay, how do I feel about fractions? I've been leaning slightly towards scientific notation these days. Heck with fractions. This is frog scientific notation now. Alright! Perfect score! They were gonna fire me into the sun, but I'm gonna get a work visa instead. Let's go with... none of these four. I'm gonna go with bugs, bugs, bugs! <laughs> Private snowman, I hate you! I'm a chitin donor now, too! And I gotta write with my mouse. This is going to be terrible. People don't have... don't have talons. Don't have talons at all. I know you envy being a bird, but don't. It's not fun. Not for not for mice. Especially when you gotta write with them. I'm trying to write it as fast as possible. It's gonna take a thousand hours. One thousand hours! I'll teach you more math. There's a comma in here somewhere. There, right there. One thousand. Take that! I wrote numbers. I wrote a whole number on my fractionating. And also, this game has no save feature, so it reset my score, and I hate it. But at least I have like a billion fruit yet. And welcome to Bug Mars. We earned a few more Zork mids, but we still can't afford anything with these. And also, I don't want a Merv Tongue. Get out of here, Strawberry. Ah. Well, I could buy my brain back, but to heck with that. I'm going other places. Bug Mars sucks. Why did I become a naturalized citizen in this place? It's boring. All I could do is eat the citizens. Surely there's something around here. Like Zorkmids. Something tells me something weird's about to happen, though. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Ah, uh, why do I say things I usually regret? I regret my decisions today. Oh, hey, some sea life here. I could attack them if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Actually, for some reason, I could- I can't attack this time. Usually I can! Doesn't do anything though. Fork in the road, which way to go? I think the Zork mids are this way. I'm spelunking for it Zork was mids! Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. 
When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. And also that was a merman watching TV under the ocean. He didn't have any Zork mitts. He didn't even have a shirt. Clearly this is a secret spot. It's gotta be Zork mitts here. Something that's not boxing related. It seems like I always end up regretting the decisions I have made. Somehow. While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sport sport school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. I'm happy about your boxing, but I just want some fractions. Or some Zork mids. I'll compromise at this point. Ah, I'm going the wrong way. It's like in Solar Jetman, except there is no map. There's never a map. You cannot escape the madness of frog fractions. Not ever. And also I apologize for the constant mouse on the screen, but I can't help it. The real wonder though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week, and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match, and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. On second thought, let's not stay on Bug Mars. Tis a silly place. Oh no! My ultimate weakness! It's a text adventure! Help me! Yes, very nice. This is the general rules of text adventures. You type things. I hate these. These are terrible. Luckily, I got a little guide here. Let me just get my timer out of the way so I can read it. Yes, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm sorry. It's just what I have to do. Let's try... Climb Ladder! Welcome to the Captain's Quarters! There's a rug here. Let's look at that rug. That rug looks suspicious. Get Rug! That should work! Alright, a hatch! Look at the fractions! They're back! And they're in text now. Let's open up that hatch. What's down there? Yes, very nice. Thank you for telling me that. Let's go inside. I want to go inside the room that the hatch opened. Come on. Do I have to be that specific? This should work. The engine room. There's a great machine in the corner. Clearly, we should look at it. A spigot and a flat platform. Clearly, this is a puzzle. Let's get that paper, though. Looks like instructions. Let's read the paper. Or, let's get some tape first. I like some tape. Let's get that tape. Get tape. Now read that paper. Out of order. Ah, darn. And I don't have a game package. So I just have to use my imagination. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's press those buttons. Maybe it's lying to me. 
Local currency? You mean Zork mitts? I'd like some Zork mitts! Pull that lever! Yeah! I got Zork mitts! Oh, they're all over the place, though. I need to get those Zork mitts. Get those Zork mitts before they run off. They're sentient money. That's what we're talking about. Money from a spa uh, faucet. Why the heck not? There's a hole around here, isn't there? I know this because I'm psychic. And there's sticky pink goop everywhere. Let's look at that hole in the wall. Look hole. Which hole? That hole. That hole right there. Exposed machinery and a coffee can? What's that doing there? That's silly. Take that coffee can right now. Ah, uh, yeah, it really is a coffee can. And also we broke some wires. Oops! Luckily we got tape for that. Use tape on the wires, right now. I really hate text adventures. I'm trying to make this as entertaining as possible. But we did some electric work. Clearly the machine will run now. So, let's, uh, put, some, put that cup on some use here. Use this can on something. Maybe the machine. On machine! Let's not use can machine. I don't think we have it on this spacecraft. Now, let's try the buttons again. Yeah, push button should work. I was gonna type press buttons, but that, that you got in there somehow. Mom, specialty! Let's pull that lever. Oh no! It's everywhere! Bacon milkshake! At least the system took care of it. Let's head back to the captain's quarters. Hi, <laughs> let's go to qua captain's quarters. No. I can't type anymore. This is not a typing teaching game. You know what? This typing is really getting boring. Next time on Frog Fractions? I type some more. We're gonna finish this text adventure. Just not today. Good night, folks.